Hey, this is Brian Crescenti, news editor of Polygon. I'm here at Gamescom. Specifically, I'm in the business hall where they have a lot of international booths set up. So the way this works is a lot of different countries have come together and have sort of put all their indie developers in these different booths so they could show off some of the games that maybe you wouldn't see if you weren't Call of Duty or Battlefield 3 or some other shooter that I can't think of right now. So we're going to take a quick look at some of the products of some of these countries and show off some of their games and eat their food. I'm here at the Taiwan Pavilion and we're checking out Dragon's Prophet. Can you tell me a little bit about that game? Well, this game is actually a client-based MMORPG. It's similar to Guild Wars 2, similar to World of Warcraft. But basically, it's, it's all about dragons. There's over 300 dragons in the game already. Um, players are able to catch it, tame it, train it, and go do battles with it. Um, it will be coming out later this year, first in Taiwan, of course. Uh, followed by the North American and European territories. So uh, the name of the game is Pyro Touch. Uh, it's a uh, casual game on uh, iPhone, iPad, and uh, soon to be uh, Android as well. And it's a really simple game where you explode fireworks and make the world happy. The game starts off in Vancouver. Um, the first uh, 20 levels are free. Uh, and then you can uh, purchase new content and fly around the world to different cities. Um, putting on fireworks shows and making people happy. This, this particular floor is fantastic. It is. If it someone's is. like, I'm going to Korea, and then I'm going to Japan, then I'll be back. And like, you're like, what? So I'm here in Mexico at the, the booth for Mexican games, games made in Mexico. There are a couple studios showing different content. Okay. We have Puck the Puck. It's, it's a game based on uh, Maya's football. Now, my, my history is terrible. But Mayan football is like the origins of soccer, or what we would call yeah. soccer, right? So how is that? I mean, that could be a pretty graphic game, right? Didn't they use yeah. human heads? Am I making yeah. that up? Okay. The idea to be this year again in Gamescom, it's because we're open. We're looking for open the markets to come uh, to Europe, and uh, you know, uh, start to grow up the, the Mexican industry. And uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. <laughs> Our studio is Metric. Um, we are working on a web browser game called Farm Arena. It's an online uh, farming game that you have your garden and you can buy stuff and try to have the uh, most beautiful garden of all. Hello! <laughs> We're showing Foul Play, which is our new uh, XBLA title. Foul Play is like a side-scrolling brawler set entirely within a vaudevillian theatre show where like a Victorian demon hunter is decided instead of like writing a book about his life story, he's going to put on the most incredible show anyone's ever seen. When you're fighting guys, it's all about creating chains of combat and doing different things which excite the audience. Um, so picking guys up, throwing them around. Um, the game's really designed as a two-player co-op game. So when there's two people on screen, there's a lot of things that you can do in terms of throwing enemies between each other, creating different situations which really get the audience uh, on their feet. <laughs> hey, I am here in France. What we're really trying to figure out is which one of these booths has the best food. We are here in a booth dedicated to the state of North Rhine, Westphalia. Exactly. All right, I'm here in uh, in Spain. So what is this? Uh, some beer is an action game. It's uh, with mm, nafty humor, with acid humor, uh, with zombies, of course, and beer. Some beer, zombies, and beer. Yeah. And the main character, the player, must drink beer to don't transform into a zombie. But if you drink so much. Well, if you're doing so much, you know what happens. Right. Remember last Saturday? And I remember last night. <laughs> if you're doing so much, you can control well the player and you can walk straight. But if you drink, if you don't drink enough, then you know what happens. You take the underground, the metro, you watch all people like zombies because they, they have breakfast, but they didn't drink a beer to go work. So if you don't drink beer enough, you transform into a zombie. She's exactly. with Honey Bunny, and well, she has got uh, two big green eyes. I noticed that. <laughs> and and she... two huge bunny ears. 